Bunch of Crust Army, your boy is back again. I'm so pumped up, man. Listen, I'm full of passion because I really want you guys to be great, not only in this game, but also in life, your motivation guy. Listen, I'm back to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to really make you a better Fortnite player. Today, we're gonna be going over a very important aspect about going pro, which can sometimes be overlooked. You know, harnessing your skills will make you an excellent Fortnite player. However, what can really make or break your career is your popularity. That's right, man. Like as a pro, you need to be marketable to a wide variety of fans, as well as other pros. If you want to be as popular as players such as Daquan or Margo or Tifu, this is going to allow you to access a whole variety of opportunities that can propel your career to the sky, man. I'm telling you right now. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here are seven ways to increase your presence as a Fortnite pro. I'm pumped up. You know, when you begin your Fortnite career, one of the most important steps is choosing the right name. Epic Well, Ninja, Benji Fishy, these are all the names that have significance in Fortnite, right? Not only that, but they are easily recognizable either through, you know, uniqueness or reputation. So let's just take a look at the thought process behind some of these choices. One example of how a pro gamer's name came to be would be Frey. Frey chose his name because it was easy to say and, and quickly memorable. It's one word that he could associate himself with. Originally, Frey went by the name Alpaca. In fact, like he even ran some of his earlier tournaments under that username. However, this wasn't good enough because it was already heavily associated with the animal of the same name. So what you want is a name that is going to stick. And when people look you up, they're not going to be getting search results for something else. So another good example is Ducky the Gamer, or as he is commonly referred to as Ducky. While ducks are already a common name, the addition of the gamer to his name, it helps set him apart from the rest of the flock. Not to mention the name has a significance, right? In his origin story, since he was always kept a rubber duck on top of his gaming setups. In the case of Ninja, I mean, it already had a cultural significance. However, type the word Ninja into the search bar and many of the results are gonna actually, you know, reroute you to the player's YouTube channel or just news in relation to them. And that's the power of a reputation that can eventually help you. But for now, you know, you need to do everything that you can do to build that reputation up. So remember, choose your name wisely, make it catchy and make it original. Odds are that you dream of playing for a major organization, right? And so there are plenty of high profile organizations out there such as Endless, FaZe and NRG. However, odds are that you're never gonna be approached by them until you've made some sort of impact on the Fortnite community. They only choose the best of the best. However, that doesn't mean that you can't start off small and just work your way up to the top. You know, clans are a good way to really meet other players who wanna make it big and competitive. It's also a good way of being in the loop and just getting your name out there. You know, many plans recruit based on skill, but usually with a much lower bar than major organizations. So being able to join one is a great resume builder. Being part of a clan, it just makes you more than just another Fortnite player. You know, it shows that you take your work seriously, man, and you're looking for opportunities to get more involved. This can also be a great way to really make connections. Who knows, maybe, you know, someone that you know are playing on a clan right now who eventually go pro. This could be a great conversation piece that can help you get a place in organization. So join a clan, make a good impression, and work your way to the top. All right, are you making Fortnite mistakes, but you know, you just can't figure out why? Sounds like you probably need a pro coach that can show you exactly where you're going wrong. Our world-class pro coaches can help you improve no matter your skill level, and they're available 24 seven. So it doesn't matter what time zone you live in or you know when you wanna train. All you need to do is click the link in the description right now. Charisma is a must have for any pro gamer. Potential fans need to like the player behind the screen if they're going to root for them, right? You know, many gamers tend to choose their favorite pro players based on who they are. Is this player an underdog who used pro gaming as a way to escape? Does the player provide good commentary during the gameplay? Are they a natural entertainer? These are all traits that really set you apart from the rest of the competition and really make you more interesting to follow in the long run. Having a clear and concise voice is vital in getting your personality out, right? Like if there's one thing that you, you know, you don't want to do is be just mumbling all of your dialogue. This can sometimes make you seem like a nervous wreck and just being unable to communicate won't be good if you need to use comms during a competition. Streaming is also a great way to not only just practice your voice skills, but it also showing off your gameplay at the same time. You know, turning on the stream for about an hour and a half is a great way of getting people invested in you as a player. You know, it's just really nice to root for someone when, you know, you just see how hard they're working, but it's also much more intriguing when you have a voice that can keep the dialogue going. All right, guys, so one more thing that you can get out of streaming is playing with eyes watching you. Like, it can be quite nerve wracking just knowing that you might mess up on a play in the middle of a tournament. However, having people watching you is gonna actually boost your confidence and it's gonna help you practice with a different level of pressure. Having a social media is absolutely essential to your career as a pro gamer. 
you know you can do as well as you want competitively but if you won't reach out to the public no one's going to really know who you are and what you do so there are two aspects of this okay a showcase of your abilities and you as a personality a social media allows you to speak to the public and let them know that you are here all right, this is also a good place to really announce any new developments in your career. For example, like you might do well in a tournament and once you've seen your final results, you can share that to the world through Twitter. The more people are following you, the more people are gonna become aware of your accomplishments. For example, all right, let's just say that you're practicing for an upcoming competition, right? Mentioning on your social media, it's gonna let people know that you plan on attending, but will also make them eager to see how you do. You can also alert your followers if you get the opportunity to sign with the org. Many of the other pros have social media as well as they use it to find new partners and competitive play. This is the perfect place to announce when you're really looking for a new duo partner or even looking for a new trio. All right, so this lets other players know that you're available and you might even get a few offers depending on your reputation. A YouTube channel, guys, is important to being a pro gamer and the other half of your socials. You know, this is a good place to show up what you are capable of without requiring someone just to watch an entire live stream. You know, it's a great place to really compile this, you know, the specific segments that you want to show off so it becomes much easier to access it and find. Okay, so if you look at many of the pros like we talked about before, many just started off simply to share their content on YouTube. Clips are a great way to really get started, but also you want to be able to show specific skill sets that you got. Okay, so think of your channel as the greatest bits of your Fortnite career. And so if you're first just starting off, you know, you want to make sure that you can showcase high skill games and your building speeds. This, I'm telling you, is going to get attention. Eventually, once you build a bit of a reputation, you can expand your content in so many different ways. If your settings are giving you good results, you can share them through a YouTube video and your fans are going to listen. You can also show off your new teammates if you happen to join the trio. In this case, rather than just showing off what you can do in a solo game, you can show off the synergy that you got with your teammates. And so this is going to help build hype for the next tournament you decide to enter in and the confidence in the direction of your career. Okay, so another thing pros do to make themselves more marketable is grind arena points. From a competitive standpoint, grinding you know, for arena points is essential if you wanna compete in some of the more exclusive tournaments. However, I will say this, they are also just as important if you wanna get noticed in the community. So once you have reached the Champions League, the bus fare has increased to a point where you not only have to survive, but get multiple kills to break even and then move your score even so slightly. So seeing as the bar minimum to qualify for champs is 7,500 points. It's just amazing to see players grind until they've reached numbers, such as like 30,000 points and even attempting to get six digits on that score. So having more arena points, guys, is gonna put you on the map as someone who is not only dedicated, but has the ability to consistently do well in a competitive setting. It shows that you are someone worth taking a note of, and perhaps hey, you're even a viable duo partner for another player out there. Never underestimate the effect that having a high arena score can really have on you. You will impress other players and pros alike. Making yourself popular with the fans is a great way to get started, guys. However, if you do manage to hit the big leagues, then you also need to make yourself popular amongst the other pros. The best way to do this, guys, is to be a team player. So be sure to study up on your different roles so you can be prepared for those opportunities. Truth is, nobody wants to team up with someone who is just hard to work with, especially when playing Fortnite professionally. It requires the entire squad to be on the same page and capable of taking criticism. And so if you don't listen to critiques and you find yourself soloing, then pros are not gonna wanna really team up with you. So having a harsh and confrontational personality it doesn't help it actually just pushes people away so if you can become a team player guys then this is going to open up a whole new world for you pros can be willing to play with you but also some might even seek you out just based on your skills but your chris sorry that's it for today's video hope you guys love the video listen like the video subscribe to the channel once again this is your motivation guy i'm going to tell you this i believe in you i'm not just saying that just to put this out there like i really really do believe in you guys so keep going keep grinding don't quit on your dreams you know if, if you have a desire to be a pro and it's in you listen make sure to take care of everything else in your life like don't neglect your homework don't neglect your job don't don't neglect you know being a good son or being a good daughter you like you know be the best person you can be um but also man just uh you know just stay focused on your dream at the same time love you guys believe in you and i'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>